Hello everyone, the Kentucky Patriot here. We're out on the range today, so please bear with uh, my little boy fishing in the background because uh, if he gets a bite, he's probably gonna holler. So <clears throat> anyway, uh, we're real excited. We're at, we're at Hootie Who actually gave me these rounds a while back, so I'm sorry for the delay in the video. Uh, but these are the Norma nine millimeter. Uh, they're 108 grain uh, monolithic hollow point rounds. I'm actually gonna open this box up and show you what one of them looks like here in a minute. Uh, but we've got a meat target today. We've got uh, actually just the meat itself. We didn't bring any denim, I don't think. If we, if I'll, I'll try to find some. If I do, I'll wrap it. Uh, <clears throat> but uh, uh, meat target, water jug, then meat, and they're just pork ribs. But I'm real excited about these. They're, they're kind of different design. If you've not seen these, they're, they're pretty neat. Advertised velocity is 1,312 feet, feet a second. Uh, like I said, 108 grain. Uh, so we're going to do some ballistics testing, and let's try them out, see how they did perform. Here's a little better view of the round. It's kind of a neat round there. It almost looks like, best way I know how to describe it is like a Phillips head screwdriver. Uh, it's a pretty neat design. It's advertised as the most expandable nine millimeter bullet projectile in the world. It says it's ideal for home defense and personal protection. Uh, so we're getting ready to try it out. See how it performs. Our test gun, usually we use the Shield 9mm. I know it's a very popular uh, carry gun, uh, but today we're going to use the Taurus G2C. Uh, <clears throat> I've been carrying this some as well. It's still not my everyday carry, but a lot of times we're out hiking and fishing. I do carry this gun. absolutely love this gun. So we're going to try it, and I do apologize. I thought I've got some denim at the house. I thought we had some in the range bag. We didn't, so I apologize. It's just going to be a meat target, so let's just pretend the perpetrator is uh, running around with no shirt on. So... Here we go. Here we are. This, <clears throat> um, it's hard to tell just by looking, but I can feel these, and, and there's a very small hole in each bag, um, which I was kind of surprised. I was kind of thinking there'd be a small hole in the entry, and then as it expanded, uh, it, it would expand out and make a larger exit wound. Uh, both of these are pretty small, which I was kind of surprised, um, <clears throat> and it went through the water jug through both meat targets, and it's in this jug back here, so uh, I heard it rattling. So we're going to find it out together, see what it looks like here. Actually, I am surprised. It, uh, I didn't think we was going to get that kind of penetration because of the small wound channel. That I am very shocked because, again, where the... I don't know how good the camera can pick that up. You can see a pretty decent hole, but not nothing like I figured this would make. So I'm kind of surprised at the results. I honestly thought that the exit wound would be bigger and the holes would be bigger because even here, you can't hardly tell where even the hole with the meat target is. There's a little hole here. Um, but that's a great expansion, so I'm... Kind of baffled, to be honest with you. You see that little tiny hole. Now, the meat, uh, there where it hit the ribs, it broke them, but the meat is not, uh, you know, uh, really, I, I didn't see, basically what I'm saying is I didn't see the wound channel that I thought I would see or the devastation I thought I would see out of a round like this. Uh, I'm going to set this up again. I don't have denim. Uh, but I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to wrap a piece of cloth around it and shoot it with one of these again. And let, let, let's test this again and see what happens. A little bit of redneck ingenuity here. Again, I apologize for not having denim. This is just an old rag just laid around here. Just an old work, work rag. Uh, but this will still give you a little bit of idea of maybe some cloth, maybe some kind of material or clothing or whatever before again hitting a meat target, which is the ribs, uh, a, a gallon jug of water, then ribs on the back then another uh, jug is in the back so hopefully we can retain this bullet as well um, let's see how it performs the expansion was great but like I said the devastation wasn't what I would would have hoped so 
Uh, let's try it again, see how she performs. Before we touch anything, I want you to see what happened here, and we're gonna kind of, kind of like unwrapping a gift. We're gonna find out together. So, check this out. This is where the point of entry went in. I don't know if you can see this hole right here. This is the point of entry. This is the where it came in the ribs, and this is where it went in the water jug. This is what's kind of. I'm pretty sure it expanded. With that kind of devastation, I know pressure builds up, but in my experience of doing this, I have a feeling that it did expand. But again, there's not a whole lot of, unless it just come out the top, the ribs are broke. But it did go through this water jug here. As you can see, it's got a hole. and So it went a complete pass through. And it's hard for me to tell, but it looks like there was some expansion. I mean, it, it's hard to tell, but it went through both water jugs this time and uh, through the meat target. I hate it. I would like to do some more testing. Maybe I'll come up here another day, but unfortunately, I'm out of meat targets and I am out of water jugs. Um, <clears throat> so I do apologize for that. Um, the first test we was able, as you saw, to recover the bullet. The expansion was great, so I just can't understand why there wasn't more um, wound channel than, than what it was. But like I said, that was only two rounds. And even if I shoot uh, 50 rounds, you still uh, can have variations from, from you know round to round, from ribs, where it hits, water, as you well know. So like I said, I'm not, not uh, uh, certainly knocking this round because it did expand well, but I was just surprised at uh, basically the performance. Uh, but I really enjoyed it. I want to appreciate Hootie here for giving me those rounds. It's a very neat design. They, they fed and shot just perfectly. Um, like I said, I, I wish I'd have had some more fruit up here now or something else to uh, maybe test it with. But I, I really had a lot of fun. And, and leave, leave uh, your experience with these in the comments below if you've had them. If you carry these, if you've done any testing with these, if you have uh, uh, any experience with these whatsoever, let me know how they perform for you. Let me know if this is your carry round. Uh, let me know what you think of them. Uh, you know, if I've missed something here, please help me, man. I appreciate you guys. I, I learn a lot from you guys. So if you have any questions or if you have any uh, feedback that you can give me, I'd greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'm on Instagram now and Facebook, The Kentucky Patriot. I would certainly appreciate the, the follows there. Uh, I really enjoy what I'm doing. So if you like this, share with your friends, subscribe. Please give me some feedback. May God bless you, The Kentucky Patriot. Signing off.